Today is a great day. I received my Hot Wheels Retro Entertainment 2015 F case in the mail today. And it is a big case. This is a big deal right now. A lot of people are interested in picking up the cars uh, in this set. We've got the Ghostbusters car in here, the BJ and the Bear, Big Rig, uh, Double Seven, James Bond, Aston Martin, whole bunch of cool stuff. So we're gonna get right into it and take a look with this fresh unboxing video. I don't know if this knife's big enough. This box is just such a big deal. I think we're gonna have to go with the combat knife to open this one. Kids, don't try this at home. Maybe not the best knife for this, but oh well. Here we go. 2015 F case. Look at that. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Can't wait to get into this. First car out. Ghostbusters 2. Look at the artwork on these cards. Just wonderful. Well, that's just beautiful. Lots of detail. We're going to be cracking each and every one of these cars. But first, we'll just get them out, have a look at them. So, with the F case, you get three of these Ghostbuster cars, which I assure you will be an instant hit. The first retro entertainment case that came out back in 2013, I believe, or was it 2012? A case featured a Ghostbusters car, very similar to that one. The A case, way back then, is quite a valuable piece nowadays if you can find it online. I've heard that this big piece of poo comes off, and I've actually seen it in some of the other videos on YouTube, so I'm definitely going to be taking the poo off my uh, Biff car here because I don't really like the poo on it. It's such a beautiful car. It's a shame to have four of them covered in a big poo. Most likely that's going to end up pranking somebody I know, possibly my mother or my father. I'll leave a little poo. She's got a cat, so she'll probably think at a distance that the cat pooped on the carpet. Anyways, here's the Thunder Roller, BJ and the Bear. Another highly anticipated vehicle from this set. And you get three of them. Three Thunder Rollers. Man, that's a heavy casting. I'm going to put that on the scale and see what that weighs. Next out of the case, we've got the James Bond 007 Goldfinger, 1963 Aston Martin DB5. What a beautiful car. If you haven't seen the old James Bond movies, it's worth watching them. They are quite fantastic. The car chases are all very uh, entertaining. Back when car chases involved real cars, not computer-generated stuff. And the Batmobile. This is one of my favorite Hot Wheel castings of the Batmobile, other than the 1966 version. It's also very heavy with this metal base here. The packaging's pretty cool. The big bat silhouette. And you get three of those. Awesome. There they all are, set up in a nice sweet array around my oval table. Take one last quick look at all the cars in their packaging. Beauties. So I've selected out of the case the five with the uh, most compromised card. Usually when you buy cars by the case you get a couple with a few little dings on the card. Actually, none of them were bad on, in this case, other than a small little corner kind of curled up on the Ghostbusters car. No creases, no big dings, but I've got three of each, so we have to open them up. We have to take a look. How can we not? First car coming out of the package, of course, is the Ghostbusters car. What a nice, heavy casting. Painted headlights, super detailed top, 
red painted bumper, little tail lights. Just a great, heavy, instant collectible. Instant collectible. They roll really nice too. That's just going to look wonderful on the shelf. So the next one, of course, will be the Thunder Roller. It's been quite a while since Hot Wheels made one of these in the regular releases. You could get it in the uh, in the adult collectible lines from HotWheelCollectors.com, but to be able to buy this one in the store, not that you're going to find it in the store because the scalpers are going to hoard these like crazy, but if you... Uh, the principle is there, so hopefully if you get up early enough, go to your Walmart at 5.45 in the morning and get in just as they open the doors, you might have a chance to get one of these wonderful castings. The other thing is about this truck is it's got, in my opinion, and I think many other people's opinions, the best real rider tires that Hot Wheels make, which are the deep dish chrome tires. They, they look good on just about any vehicle you put them on. And for $5 at Walmart or you know wherever you buy this, Target, um, you get three sets of uh, axles so the customizers are going to be picking these trucks up and tearing them apart and putting these tires on other cars that they want them to put to put them on so yeah this is going to be one of those uh, vehicles that's only going to go up in value so for any of you people out there that think that new Hot Wheels are a bad investment you're wrong when it comes to the retro entertainment so I'll tell you that right now it's already been seen with the A case. Okay, let's look at the poop covered. It's actually manure. This is from the Back to the Future movie, Biff's car. Another awesome movie. You should whip out the VHS and watch that one. So, it's got a big piece of plastic poop on it. I wonder how many times I've said the word poo in this video. Beautiful wheels, all metal. The poo comes off. Shows a nice red interior of, on this car. And uh, that's the way I'm going to display it. This little hunk of poop is going to go on the carpet. Something like that. Uh, right there. See? So when somebody comes along, they're going to be like, No. Look at the cat did. Bad cat. Bad, bad cat. Okay. Next. 1963 Aston Martin DB5. Actually, Retro Entertainment line of Hot Wheels. They've made several James Bond cars, so this is going to be a beautiful addition to the collection of James Bond cars. It's a nice, small casting. I love these thin little real rider wheels that they use occasionally on these cars with the uh, eight spoke wheels just a cool cool casting this is actually now that I open this car it doesn't look like much of that big bland yellow packaging all around it but this is probably I'm gonna put that one right up in the my favorites with these two here because it's just so well proportioned in the detail on it it's just incredible this car was actually released in the main line but not with nearly as much detail basic wheels and a plastic base. Now it was still a really nice car when it came out but this one just definitely one of my favorites. Now I love Batman. I love Batman movies and the Batman cars awesome but with such an awesome array of cars in this retro entertainment series F case it is having trouble competing of course with the other cars but it is really cool with those real rider wheels on it. Matte finished uh, paint on the uh, base. It's all metal. This is a heavy car. Look at that. It doesn't even bounce. It's so heavy. That is a mean looking car. Listen to the squealing of the tires. Hmm. You almost get them to do those burnouts here on the glass, the glass table. Anyways, 
I'm having, I'm, I'm, I've fallen into play here. I've fallen into playing with my cars. I'll set them up here in one last little lineup for you guys to take a nice look at these without my clumsy hands in the way. Beautiful cars. Beautiful, beautiful cars.